Well, what we're going to talk about here is high performance teamwork. And I'll, I'll just tell us a bit, a bit about that. Well, let me share with you one, one example. Uh, a, a friend of mine and I work with uh, a, a, a house building company uh, in the UK. Um, there were 22 site teams uh, at the time. And what we did was we went to every one of them. Uh, we, we, we sat down, we had a cup of tea. And we asked them the question, is teamwork really important to you guys? Does it actually make a difference? And sure, they, they told us lots of stories about dysfunctional teams. What we did was we picked out of them what did they feel were the key elements that created a, a, a high-performing team uh, as well as all of the reasons for it. They all were really committed to the idea. Yeah. We pooled their thinking together. Yeah. And out of it, we created nine themes um, that... We took back and said, is this what you've told us? And they said, yes. And then we set about uh, helping all 22 teams to, to work towards becoming high-performing teams. Obviously, they were all at different stages. They had different characters involved. Um, but the, uh, the company as a whole mm. very quickly uh, shot forward in all sorts of fronts. Uh, the, the, the health and happiness of the workforce was, was in, enormous. Quality of communication, mm -hmm. the number of problems, the accidents, uh, a whole range of things just disappeared uh, yep. almost off the radar. Um, so it was a very satisfying, very interesting process to, to, instead of starting from the theory, academic research, we started from uh, the, uh, the, 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 the real uh, teams, the people that actually had to build and create and, something. And this is really what, again, this is what Urban Integration Working Group, this is what we want to do. We actually want to get these things implemented in our team right from the very, very beginning. So just, just following on from that, so what, what are some of the issues that you you put, you created a resolution on? Well, I'm sure uh, there wouldn't be any surprise to a lot of people that, that they're involved. There may be one or two here. Communication. Uh, is yeah, sure. always uh, an issue uh, when it comes to, to high quality teamwork. So yeah. there's a range of things that need to be sorted out there. Yeah. Attitudes uh, are essential. Now, people might be very skillful at communication, for example, but do they care? Do they actually, yeah. uh, are they willing to listen, for example, or to, to yeah. share what they know? Yeah. Uh, recognition uh, is another key theme that, that we need to acknowledge the uh, the efforts that people make or even mm -hmm. just the, the, the personality they bring mm -hmm. uh, to work every day. Mm -hmm. I was watching an episode of The Block in Australia the other day and one of the uh, uh, one of the building teams actually walked off site because they were putting in 13 hour days and just felt the couple they were working for just weren't even acknowledging yeah. that they were bending over backwards. So and it was the recognition they felt they were lacking, mm -hmm. that they were late paying and all sorts of other reasons, sure. working under impossible deadlines and stress, but the reason they walked off was because of the lack of recognition. Yeah. Um, there are a number of different areas, and the one that I guess that, that, that uh, was a, a new idea for me mm -hmm. was that these site teams felt that one of the, 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 uh, the common elements of a successful team was that somebody in that team was kind of like a wingman for the team that they uh, had a clear awareness of the kind of challenges that were coming up, yeah. what was being intended, the, the clear purpose, but they also knew how people were doing. Yeah. They could tell um, and care if somebody was struggling, yeah. was having a bad day, yeah. um, if somebody had a, a, a new challenge or a so, problem they yeah. hadn't been able to solve. Yeah. And they picked up these things and they, they got the rest of the team connected with. And, uh, and these are not just work related. It's not exactly always just work related to the job they're doing. It's, it actually goes further than that. So, yeah. So you've got somebody in the team that isn't necessarily the boss. In fact, it's probably best if it's not the boss. Yeah. Um, who's in touch with all of these things? Yeah. Um, in the Tour de France, there's a guy called Bernard Hincapie, uh, who's been a, a member of nine different uh, winning teams. Yep. He's never won the thing himself, but well, he is in touch with what's happening up ahead on the road. He's in touch with management and he's keeping an eye yep. on how people in his yep. cycling team are, are, are doing and that's one of the reasons yep. that his yep. team yep. Is, yep. Yeah. is so successful. Really relevant stories as well too. So it's one of the things we need to create here is in every team, every aspect of what this project is, is attempting yep. to do is yep. to have uh, all of these and other elements of the high performing mm. uh, yep. team uh, involved. Yeah. So really we're, what we're here, we're, we're defining everything 
about high performance team is defining clear purpose, isn't it? So any uh, any organisation, any team getting involved in, in this project, one of the great takeaways for you is going to be getting some help and making sure that uh, your team, yeah. your company, your organisation, and the core team that you're setting up, sure. Ian, uh, are don't have unnecessarily uh, unnecessary problems. That it's going to be yeah. a highly functional team yeah. uh, from day one. If not, we will be working with you to, to make sure that it becomes. And this possible. this this of course uh, makes what we're doing quite unique too, doesn't it? Because uh, uh, given the fact that we're actually starting out with this whole process being set up, uh, go to our website, uh, have a look on what on the website. See what our values are, and 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 this this process we're working on of creating high performance teams. The company that I, I shared as an example, uh, they have I think 24 sister companies uh, in in the UK, and uh, within a couple of years, they were leading the lead tables in terms of uh, customer uh, feedback, in terms of health and safety issues, uh, turnover, on time completions, and. Uh, some of their site managers started winning national uh, site manager of the year uh, awards, and this obviously also affects the bottom line too, doesn't it? And it absolutely affected the bottom line. So it's it's really critical. Uh, this is, as I said, this is what Urban Integration Working Group is all about. We're setting up a unique, absolutely unique opportunity here, uh, and and this is part of that process. We're creating high performance teams. Stop wasting money with dysfunctional teams. Uh, get on board.